What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away and this prick throws fireside feasts. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had this good a time in ages. And to think That's these true. drunkards protect you know people from the Scoia town. Peasants in the uniforms. Ramble, ramble. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Ramble, ramble. Oh, you are a fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. Don't you traipse around here. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow them all, Sniffing plow around all. like dogs Do in a rubbish game. dump. That oh, one struts about as if he were the king himself. You've had your song. Care what do you need, ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? I don't really care. Just get him away from the ballista. Oh, now you've got me doubting he's your mate at all. But I'll not pry. It'll cost you double. That's steep. I may be a simple girl, but I know at least a few men who'd give you trouble if I told them what you've asked of me. Pay me, and it'll stay between us. I mean, no point in giving brutes and louts a good reason to perfect their skills, eh? A favour for a favour? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Nothing I don't there. like freaks. And I don't like oafish no-necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious <laughs> amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten... I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. Mm. 
Haven't had this good a time in age. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength, arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher, so I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm All right. Let's begin. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plamor, Plamor. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plamor, Plamor. Oh, you arse fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plamor, Plamor. Do that again, and I'll fuck your mum. Plow there. Damn the dogs. The old man got me. I need to eat. Build up a bit. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. In the arse. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you Care are fuck dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Duty. Do that oh, again, oh. and I'll fuck you up. Your mom. comrades are plow well out to having their all. fun. Why should you be any You've worse? You've had your song. You're right. Care for some Let's real go. diversion. Haven't had this good a time around, in ages. Like dogs in a That's rubbish room. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Yeah, we're too soft on them, that's the problem. The list is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Lurido. Uh, now you're talking. We don't need to look for the Scoia'tael. Cut the rebel down one by one. Lurido's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. You'd go after the women, then relish killing the elven brats. So, the brats turn into squirrels. And once the women are gone, there'll be no more brats. Stop talking bollocks or I'll go. Yes? Do we wait until the honorable lady is done with the venerable hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's galley.
You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Oh, Did you hear? Two big shots Did you all right? talk? Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. We're too soft on him, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison's thinning. Ah, now you're talking. We don't need to look for the score you tell. Cut the rebel down one by one, and we'll finally have peace. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Laredo I got the message. See you, Roach. You'd go after the women, then relish killing the elven brats. So? The brats turn into squirrels. And once the women are gone, there'll be no more brats. Stop talking bollocks or- No passage. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do? 
I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Jorvik's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> Step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously, straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Now you stir up storms wherever you go, I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish dump. Don't forget your blade. Rito wants the Scoyatel gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorvets outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. The Rito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoyatel. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. So long, Roach. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his arse. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. 
Ten to one on Vess. Witcher, map on the wall. Vess wins. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his arse. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. Ten to one on Vess. Witcher, map on the wall. Vess, barrel! Witcher, cured hand. Vess, fish head! Witcher, all on the wall. Geralt wins. There they are! Those are the shitheads who desecrated Veopatis' statue! Pitchforks! Which will you say, Bumpkin? What's going on? Nothing. We had a little competition. They threw knives at a statue of Veopatis! It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? They're no ordinary soldiers, but blue stripes. Know what that means? Blue or green, it's all the same to me! They're whoresons, all of them! What did you say? I just... You said what you thought. Good, that's the way. Beer for this brave man. And drink to my health. Here's to the whore's son, Vernon Roach. Vernon? You've got shitty glassware in Flotsam. Not fit for a hero, but I've got an idea. <laughs> drink the whoreson's beer from the floor. Geralt, do something. I'll try. Vernon. Leave him alone. It's not worth it. You don't know shit. Consider this your lucky day, mongrels, and get out of here. I have to take a walk. You're too hard on Roach. I don't like sadists. Vernon was a half-orphan. What does that have to do with it? He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Come on. Let's have a drink. All right. Remember when we had a wait in the cave for reinforcements? How could I forget? We ate Pete, we were so starved. Ah, those were the days. Here's to Pete, tart and nutritious. What do you say to a little competition? A keg of beer to whoever beats Geralt to arm wrestling. And if Geralt wins? I'll give you my sword. A true antique. But it sacks off many a head. We don't make them like this anymore. All right. Me throat's a little dry. Pour us a drink, someone. Remember when I bet a lieutenant I could plough four elven oars at once? He said we'd sooner cross the sea on the asses of four whores strapped together to make a raft. I'd have managed it. Sure. If only there were that many elf women at the brothel. Let's begin. We'll see if Thirteen can beat the Witcher. Thirteen proves too weak for the Witcher. Keep practicing there, mate. Plow off, the lot of you. Somebody pour me a drink. Remember when I rode my horse into a tree? Can't say I do. Have a shot. It'll refresh your memory. Gentlemen, now it's Fen against the Witcher. The prize is yours. May it serve you well. Uh-oh. Gentlemen, to our health. Just like after the Battle of Gargu... 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 
Aye, that was a right piss up. We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whores' asses. Got drunk as newt, you did. Never seen anything like it in my life. Anything like what? Such a sight. Meaning? Better you don't remember. But I want to know. I tell you for a few odd ends. You could do better than that, surely? Listen, I'm a witcher and I'm massively hungover right now. So speak or regret it. All right, then. Talk to the madame. She knows the details. I think the stew's ready. Something's troubling me. That's it. Ever heard of doing it, witch and I wouldn't sleep style. with you for uh, all the uh, gold uh, no. to marry her. Tell me. He downs the flat, tries to get it on, falls back to sleep, and she wakes up a virgin in the morning. <laughs> 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 Greetings. What can I get you, fine lad? They say you know what happened here yesterday. I do. But you'd be better off not asking, darling. Talk. Nothing's for free. Especially in a brothel. All right. Talk. Five of you came in. Or crawled in, I should say. I was crawling? Indeed. One of the blue ones ordered five girls. I gave you the best because you showed me good coin. What happened next? This is the interesting bit. Because instead of ploughing them like the normal soldiery, you mounted them and told them to give you a ride to the port. Can't be. Ask the lass in the uniform then. Vess was here too? Sure was. She tried to stop you, but you were too much for her. Greetings. What can I get you, fine lad? What do you think of the Commandant? Mr. Laredo is a great man. A great man. He looks after us, helping like. Taxes are just as they should be. We're all pleased he governs the trading post and we're all perfectly happy here. What are you talking about, woman? Feeling all right? The town's a dump. Laredo's robbing you and his men intimidate everyone. That's foolishness, Master Witcher. Shouldn't say that. Shouldn't badmouth the Commandant. He's a holy man. Period. You fear him that much? Don't you provoke me. Beat it! Hmm? I talked to the madam. Is what she says true? I tried to talk you out of it. But you insisted you'd cross the river on the whore's asses. You tried for several hours, but it just wasn't going to be. What happened next? You said you wanted to be one of the blue stripes and had to get yourself a tattoo. What tattoo? One like ours. And you got it. Shit. Where are my things? You left them all over the place. I gathered them in that trunk by the window. Thanks, Vess. How did you end up in the Blue Stripes? Why do you ask? 
have trust issues. I'd like to know who's covering my ass. No need to worry, Witcher. I'm good at what I do. Do I see a sensitive little girl hiding behind a mask of indifference? I wouldn't be here if you were right. I was raised in a small village where people cared about two things only. If the drought was going to destroy their crops, and if the Scoyatel would appear in the local woods. One day, a large Scoyatel unit appeared. They burned the village to the ground and slaughtered all the inhabitants. I alone survived because their commander, the bastard, fancied me. They dragged me around with them for months. I knew they'd kill me once they tired of me. And then Vernon turned up. Did he draft you into service? He taught me everything I know. In time, I realized my place was with the Blue Stripes. I'm a soldier because I do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. Is your hatred towards the Scoyatel some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoyatel, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoyatel are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoyatel. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Fultest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. Say something. What did you... Listen, you know how to remove a tattoo? I thought you looked different. Couldn't put my finger on it, though. Hmm. Think it looks all right? What's it of? A naked lady brandishing a sword? Geralt. All right, you can stop now. <laughs> hey, I didn't give you that tattoo. There's this mixture that cleanses the tissue just beneath your skin. And to make it, I'll need green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. <laughs> well, I'm off to hunt down some herbs. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to Dandelion. And you can stop laughing. <laughs> no, I can't. Did you see that? 